In this video, I'm going to talk about how to increase your chances of picking up a fragrant discounted Phalaenopsis without blooms to have a sniff at. Meanwhile, <laughs> while I'm standing here, I am celebrating the delicious fragrance of not only a species Phalaenopsis, but that of a complex hybrid. Now, I'm not saying that you will find a Shilleriana on the discount table out of bloom, but if you do, do not hesitate because you will not be disappointed by its fragrance. The elegant rose perfume is something else. And like I said, as I'm standing here, <gasps> inhale and exhale. <laughs> Anyway, this orchid does not need to be in any kind of direct sunlight to exude her fragrance. For filming purposes, she is, and I have to be careful with how the leaves are warming up, but let's continue. Even without the sunlight, all she needs is for the temperature to be nice and balmy wherever the orchid is grown, and then the fragrance intensifies. It is such a beautiful fragrance that is distributed around the home on light breezes, just like an air freshener would incredibly divine. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you clicking on the video. And if I may be so bold as to ask you to click the like button, to subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so, know that the added support goes a long way and is also very much appreciated. For a species orchid, Phalaenopsis shilleriana is amongst the easiest to grow and is nearly as tolerant of a wide range of conditions as hybrids. The Phalaenopsis low light requirements make this a suitable species for windowsill and underlight growers. Choices for potting media are varied and are usually selected by climate and growing conditions. All my Phalaenopsis are grown in a self-watering setup with Lekka because the combination is super helpful in a climate like mine, which does not have a high humidity. I average 30% humidity here in southern Spain so the microclimate around each pot increases the humidity for my orchids. But I have plenty of Phalaenopsis videos in my playlist Phalaenopsis Lookbook, which I will link in the description. I just wanted to briefly mention the care of a species Phalaenopsis so that nobody feels as though, yeah, it's a species, I can't do that, okay? So it's a simple orchid to grow in case there are any doubts. Anyway, Back to finding those deals on the sales tables when we don't have blooms to have a sniff at. At least where I am at, discounted Phalaenopsis are not in bloom anymore. But I'm going to share a clue with you, a clue how to increase your chances of picking up a discounted fragrant Phalaenopsis, which would be considered a complex hybrid. You see, the market is flooded with all kinds of complex hybrids coming in so many colors that the consumer is constantly needing to be stimulated to continue buying fowls. There are many tactics now in place to get the consumer to buy complex fowls at a reasonable price, being that they are mass produced, but to avoid Phalaenopsis complex hybrid fatigue kicking in, the breeders have to do something else to keep the purchasing power interested. Enter fragrant Phalaenopsis complex hybrids. Seeing that traditional breeding does not focus on this feature and the aromatic characteristics may be lost after several generations of hybridization, Phalaenopsis bellina, Phalaenopsis violacea, Phalaenopsis equestris, and Phalaenopsis schilleriana all have fragrant flowers in crossbreeding when flowers of the seed parent and pollen parent are both fragrant the fragrance expression of the offspring is up to 100%. However, when only the seed parent or pollen parent has fragrant flowers, the offspring's fragrance expression is reduced to less than 57%. Phalaenopsis schilleriana, and I speak on her because I have her, is used in a lot of hybridization, nothing new to see here. But the reason I mentioned all this hybridization is that many, 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 many parents ago, she formed part of the ancestry, part of the makeup of the complex Phalaenopsis orchids. And the further down the line that she is, there won't be any fragrance in the resulting stock. When breeding the fragrant Phalaenopsis, knowing the characteristics and the genetic makeup of the parents are crucial in obtaining fragrant hybrids. The results of breeding with a fragrant Phalaenopsis orchid as the seed or pollen parent, the characteristic of the fragrance can be transmitted 
When both parents have a fragrance, the fragrance expression is much higher in the offspring. But again, I wanted to mention that because if Shiliriana has been used so much in hybridization, why have we not been able to see and buy more commonly sold Phalaenopsis in our big box store, supermarket, and in my case, garden center? Well, that is because she is way down in the ancestry that makes up the parent of our complex Phalaenopsis hybrids. And it would appear that the market is getting bored with all the different color splotches and splotches and whatchamacallit. Now the market wants fragrant orchids. But again, let's go back to discount tables and no blooms. No blooms to sniff at. There is another feature that a Phalaenopsis complex hybrid will inherit from a fragrant parent. We just have to look at the leaves. My gorgeous Shilariana is in beautiful bloom and she has the mottled leaves that we all love so much, even when the orchid is not in bloom. But look at my complex hybrid right below the Shilariana. Mottled leaves and her fragrance is just as gorgeous, if not the same as my Shilariana. They are both cared for in the same way but I bought my fragrant complex hybrid fowl in a garden center, whereas my Shilleriana came from a nursery. If I were to have seen the leaves on a discount table without blooms, I would have snapped this orchid up because the mottling is a clear identifier of a fragrant phalaenopsis and at a bargain at that. I have another mini fowl that I have been struggling to grow to strength, which has the same fragrance as my other complex fowl, but you can see that there is much less mottling on the leaves, but there are hints of it if you know what you're looking for. This little mini fowl has smaller blooms than my other more mottled complex hybrid, but she packs a punch when it comes to her fragrance as well. Fragrant orchid species that are used in hybridization will not only pass on their gorgeous fragrance, but their leaf characteristics as well. Sometimes a little less obvious, but when you know what you are looking for, then you will have a clear advantage at the discount table. Now you may ask, does that apply for summer blooming Phalaenopsis species as well? Those that have that gorgeous fragrance, but their leaves do not have any mottling? Can something like that be identified by the leaf characteristics? Well, yes. It's a little bit harder, but it is possible because if you know the texture of the leaves of a species summer blooming fowl, and you know the coloring being more of a spring green, more of a vibrant green, then check the leaves out as well when looking at the discount table and don't just pass by a green leaf assuming it is going to be a plain white bloom. A complex hybrid crossed with a summer blooming species that could turn out to be fragrant will have much lighter green leaves than the one next to it. But not only that, the leaf is not as fleshy as stiff and the sheen of the leaf will be much more even compared to the green gloss of a similar complex hybrid that would bloom white or light colored blooms. You see, I have two fowls that have white blooms and the large fowl with the white blooms does not feature any of the lighter leaf characteristics that my white blooming mini fowl has. Now, my white blooming mini fowl was bought before the advent of fragrant complex hybrids coming to the market, but this is what I would be looking for if I were to be at the discount table. Personally, I have not come across what I'm describing and trying to show you where I am at, but I know that now those complex hybrid Phalaenopsis with a brighter, more vibrant green, they are out there. You see, my location is not as generous with the options of Phalaenopsis complex hybrids, but other countries have a huge selection and many get discounted. Many people will not buy a discounted Phalaenopsis with just green leaves, because they will quickly assume that those will be the plain white blooms. But what if it is a plain white bloom with some other color mixed in because the parent was a fragrant species, summer blooming Phalaenopsis or novelty Phalaenopsis at that, huh? Then it will have a fragrance. Unfortunately, we cannot study the roots because let's just say a Phalaenopsis Schilleriana was turned into a complex Phalaenopsis hybrid through hybridization. The stock from that hybridization, the orchid is fragrant, and you're at the discount table, but you don't have blooms, you see the leaves. 
Don't think that the roots are going to also switch to the complex Phalaenopsis hybrid. I have not seen any signs that the characteristics of the roots also go over to the hybrid. Unfortunately, because goodness me, Phalaenopsis chiloriana roots are gorgeous with their silver metallic characteristics. So unfortunately, yeah, that doesn't carry over. The roots of a complex hybrid mixed with a Phalaenopsis chiloriana, they will just look normal. So don't look at those to make a judgment of whether you're picking up a discounted fragrant complex hybrid. Now I know that I do not have all examples of the combination of the leaves that are not mottled but I hope that what I was trying to show to back up what I'm saying made sense. And let me know your experiences at the discount table. Do you look at leaves to figure out what you are buying? All of course under the assumption that once again you do not have blooms to reference or sniff at. Let me know. I have to check the leaves most of the time because I don't have the luxury of discounted blooming phalaenopsis on discount tables and this is what I have come to observe. I'm looking forward to reading what you have to say. Meanwhile, I hope that something in this video was an eye-opener and that your shopping for orchid deals will be even more fun because now you know what to look for and that you get to walk away with a fragrant complex hybrid phalaenopsis. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here in the sunshine with my Phalaenopsis while I could smell the gorgeous rose fragrance. You could not. I appreciate that you were here, that you spent time with me. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed some of the blooms. Have yourself a wonderful day on that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.